All right, let's head over to London now and check in with Sydney Palm. You are standing by and you're uh, watching a few stories for us, including back to coronavirus. The UK's junior health minister has now tested positive. Yeah, good morning, Anne Maria. That's right. A health minister is the first member of parliament confirmed to be infected. Conservative lawmaker Nadine Dorries is now in self isolation at home and tweeted she hopes the worst of it is now over. The Department of Health says she first started showing symptoms last Thursday, the same day she attended a Downing Street event hosted by the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. British media are now reporting Johnson has no known symptoms and does not need a test. In a statement, the health minister says medical authorities are now tracking the people she was in close contact with. The number of confirmed cases in the UK is now at 382 with six deaths. To Afghanistan, where President Ashraf Ghani approved the release of 1,500 Taliban prisoners. Ghani had previously refused to release the prisoners, which had threatened to derail the U.S. brokered peace process. But the signing of the new decree signals a softening of his stance. In exchange, the Taliban have agreed to release over 1,000 government troops. The U.S. and the Taliban signed the peace deal last month, but did not include the Afghan government, which is meant to start direct talks with the Taliban soon. The treaty also triggered the withdrawal of U.S troops from Afghanistan. Finally, to Kenya, where the country's only female white giraffe and her calf have been killed by poachers. Seen here before they were killed, the bodies of the two giraffes were found in eastern Kenya. The white giraffe, the only known animal of its kind, was first spotted in 2017. The white pigmentation is caused by a condition called leukism, which inhibits pigmentation in some skin cells. And their deaths mean there is just one remaining white giraffe alive, a male who was the son of the female that was killed, Anne-Marie. Yeah, you know, I saw the story, and I got to tell you, Cindy, I couldn't even read it because I knew it was going to break my heart. Um, we really have to do better when it comes to this sort of thing. Oh, it was so sad. Yeah. Thank you so much. You got it.